Boy, George, you're going to get tired of seeing me here. Yeah, you got one more toy, don't you? Yes, sir, I do. We kind of touched on it when we did the shootout on the 5100. Yeah. But we've seen advances with the Android app to where you're now able to do your handheld. Wow. Now, it's not wireless because the 51 series does not have uh, Bluetooth yeah. embedded. But it is pretty cool walking around with the tablet the radio on your hip and you're controlling everything that you can do with it yeah i suspect having your display on the tablet here is a lot easier to see when you're programming you can just get in a lot deeper a lot quicker so what we're going to show is is the android tablet application the rs ms1 with the 51 id 51 50th anniversary it'll work with the 51 plus as well as regular 51 and so you've got a cable here connecting the radio over to the Android device. Yes. So the, the cable is the OPC 2350. Mm -hmm. goes into the data jack of the radio, which you're able to send data as well as control the radio. And you can see we've got the 5100, the 51, and then plus or other models. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and tell it we're playing around with the 51 plus because I've got several of these radios and this was the information it just pulled from the radio and that's what's right here on the radio yes sir well it sure is a lot easier to see on that oh it, it is it is and the nice thing about the the application is for the 5100 the radio will operate without the control head right right so whether you have an Android phone or an Android tablet to control the radio, you don't have the head in the in the vehicle anymore to interfere or for people to see and possibly steal the radio. Yeah. So it is a theft deterrent device. Yeah. So right now we're in what's called DR mode. DR mode could be many different things. It, it's normally for a digital repeater for D-Star, but as we look here, I've got various things that I could do. I can do the near repeater function with the 51 plus, the DV or FM or all comes mm -hmm. up. It's reading from the radio my location and it sees I'm right here in Mississippi. Yeah. So 18 kilometers, it just goes to prove that I have not set up the Android tablet for miles. Yeah. But this is the entire list for this area. Or I can go repeater list. And okay. here's here's the entire database that's in the radio. And what I mentioned that it says DR mode for digital repeater, well, it can be used for FM operation as well. Okay. Now, it's got a very simple FM repeater database installed in the radios. And the reason why is we don't know what's accurate with all the different publications right. out there. You can see we have a list here of the different repeaters. Now, am I under, under the understanding that you can download new lists? Yes, you the can. Internet? The the list can be downloaded from www.dstarinfo.com. Okay. On their website, they have a tab that is repeaters. And then you can download in any of the ICOM formats the repeater list. So the older uh, V82, U82, the 2200, the IC80AD, the 91, 92, all of those radios are supported on their website. Okay. It also has mapping features so you can see the population of D-Star all across the world. But as you can see, it changes right on the radio. So we'll go back here to DV and pick brand in Mississippi. Yeah, tuned right to it. Now, on the radio, I can click the CS button and see all my call signs that are set up. Yeah. So what I've told it is I want to use the local repeater and just CQ, CQ, CQ. Yeah. If I tell it I want to use a reflector, it changes the radio. We go back here to CS. Now all your call signs are set up. We're now telling it to go to the reflector. Huh. Once you gain confidence in the app, 
doing what you're telling it to do and the radio is just following along with you, this is all you take a look at is, is the pad itself. Yeah. Now, say I'm traveling. There's a fun section called mapping. But it's showing we're here. So we've got two D-Star repeaters close by. Yep. And as we zoom out, there's more and more D-Star repeaters that we see. Yeah. And as we keep going. Wow. Now, what color display on a radio gives you this functionality? I don't recall seeing one, no. Me either. That's the cool thing about having an app and a device that gives you this much more. Now, when you look at the United States and the D-Star repeaters there, you not only have them in the U.S., but down in the South America. Yeah. But look at over in Europe. Wow. So say I wanted to talk to one of these repeaters in Europe. have no idea. Just that one looks like a friendly one. We'll click it. I can't even say that. I cannot either, but I can tell it I want to send that I want to set it to the two repeater. That's where I'm going to talk to. Okay. Because the ranking one is going to be where I'm talking from. Okay. So I click two. This is a configuration. When we go to the CS on the radio. And by the way, Rankin and Brandon is the same repeater. The K5 RKN is Rankin. Yep. So this location now is programmed into the radio. Huh. That's pretty cool. That's uh that's a lot less work than than trying to do it right here, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is. It is. And the functionality and being able to do the mapping makes it so much easier. Now we'll end up going in here and turning off the repeaters. Okay. And now what's showing up? You see tiny humans. Yes. Let's click that one. This is G4SKU. Check receive history. I've heard them before. What does that remind you of, George? Uh, I don't know. Homeland Security? <laughs> <laughs> no, a lot like APRS. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I can look at my received history database and then tell it to show me on a map and see where they're located. Not only them, but everybody that I've listened to. So there's several in the UK. Let's come across the pond here. Yep. While we don't have the population doing what we call DPRS mm -hmm. that we do on APRS, it's still pretty cool to see where people are when I talk to them. Yeah. So here's a group that I heard probably on a reflector over in the UK. So as we come across the pond here, we'll take a look. There are several different icons here. And these are all people you have heard before. Yes. That's an interesting icon right there. What do we have here? Check the receive history. That's Doggy Mobile. <laughs> and it's got the date and time you last. Uh, the received. date and time stamp. What uh, In his GPS mes message, he put down what radio he's using. Mm -hmm. um, and the digital voice message, Lexington, Virginia. Yeah. And all of that comes across on the radio at the time that they transmit. Yeah. Cool. Now I can then program it into my station if I want to directly call him and route through the gateway. I can add to my your call list, so if I want to call him at a later time, I can go to qrz.com or aprs.fi. Now along with this, you have share pictures. Now think about this, George. I did a demonstration a couple days ago. Driving along, come across a car accident. I can come here, touch for one second, tell it I want to take a photo. And right now it's going to take a lovely photo of the board. But yeah. let me 
we can switch it. Okay, now it's getting the, some lights on the ceiling. Take the photo. Yeah. Save it. So now we don't see the lights. Right. Done. Select what quality of the photo that I want. So the highest resolution and the highest percentage. Oh, that's scary. It is scary. But we don't have the lights in it. True. True. We do have the green screen. We can see high enough resolution to see what kind of issue. I mean, if we've got a dangerous situation, power lines on the road, things like mm -hmm. that, you can take a photo of that. Now, I'm going to tell it to start transmitting. What does it look like? It looks like it's sending uh, blocks at a time. Slow scan TV. Ah, yeah. Now, everybody that's on this frequency that is using the app will receive this image. Huh. Now, those that do not have the app will not hear a single thing. Yeah. Because when you're transmitting data, nothing is heard. Wow. So, I can come and take a look at receive history. We were doing some testing. A uh, guy takes a photo of me at a restaurant as I'm working on my presentation, and he transmits to me that I'm watching you. <laughs> we can also do text messaging. Okay. Now, one of the top ones, this was December 8th, G7TCW. Hi, anyone for pictures? Wow. So it's, and WB4QDX, he and I were getting ready to do that presentation a couple days ago. And we were doing a test back and forth with it. Yeah. There again, everything is done on a tablet, and you just trust that the radio is following along with you. Yeah. I mean, that, that changes your whole user yeah, interface. That, that is quite a bit simpler. Okay, we're going to cover some of the other parameters in the app itself, but we can make the choice of whatever power output that we want the radio to have uh, for demonstrations or if I'm using a hotspot or a DVAP, I go to the super low power on it. I mean, if I can see it in the room, there's no sense in transmitting 5 watts. Yeah, save your battery. Uh your different settings for your digital voice data transmit, whether it's automatically going to go out or every time you hit a push to talk. GPS settings, we've got it set for manual entry, went outside, capture where we are right here because it's a nice Faraday shield you've got here. Yeah, this is a, uh, the studio's a metal building, so yeah, nothing gets in and nothing gets out. Oh, trust me, I'm getting out with these radios. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about that. My transmit message, what I want to have on it, I can add a new one, and it's very simple. You've got your keyboard to, to make mm -hmm. the changes to. It then programs it into the radio. And then uh, DV fast data mode. So to send the photos, it goes in a faster baud rate. That is an enhancement that is in the 51 plus series, the anniversary ones. Okay, so... The plus identifies the anniversary one. That's correct. Okay. And the, it, well, all of them that are the colors identify that they're the 50th anniversary. Okay. And eventually we will have a 51 plus, which is the black, back to the traditional black color. So we also have a little icon on the upper right-hand side. It changes with your different modes that you're in on the app. This one will show the call signs. Mm -hmm. That is just like hitting the CS button here. Okay. Now you can look at it to and from. Yeah. Which looks like the DR mode on the screen on the tablet as well as in the radio. But when I go to DR mode, and you can see it just read everything from the radio, I come up here. I now have volume and squelch setting. Hmm. And since it's in DV mode, the squelch is not going to break. 
I'm going to go here real quick. I'm going to find a near FM repeater. You can see it went FM tone in the duplex. Mm -hmm. I come here, volume squelch. Okay. And I can see it changed the receiver over to 146.94 there. You were talking about earlier on importing. Yes. Updating. Well, you can import the repeater list. And you can see because of it being an app, you can either mm -hmm. pull it from Dropbox or if you've got a memo. Yeah. Or wherever you store the files, you can then go and get them. Okay. Well, I'm seeing here, you know, you can control this handy talkie from the Android tablet here. No problems. You can do pretty much anything you want to. Does it also allow you to program it? It does for your repeater lists, mm -hmm. but it's mainly in RS, the radio software, radio control software. Okay. For cloning, you use a different cable, and you have the uh, PC software. There is other manufacturer software out there as well for it, mm -hmm. but this is mainly just for controlling the radio. Okay. Well, Ray, this, this is a really nice-looking remote control for the Handy Talkie. It's bigger than the Handy Talkie, but, boy, it sure looks like it makes it a lot easier to use. And you'll probably do stuff with that that you wouldn't do very often on the Handy Talkie itself just because it's so much easier on the tablet. Yeah, that, that's true. It's easier on the tablet, and also you can download and play your favorite games on it as well, Skype, you name it, with the tablet that you can't do on the handheld. Yeah. And you can still hear what's going on. Yeah. So tell me again, what radios will this software work with? This will work with the ID5100 with the Bluetooth installed. Mm-hmm. The ID 51, 51 plus, the 31, the IC 91, 92, pretty much all of them with the data jack on it oh. and, and the capability of rig control. Well, cool. appreciate you showing that to us. And uh, that's out in the field now. You can get it today. Yes, sir, it is.